Ready. Almost a scandal. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm super happy and relieved I can focus on the game. Handshake, E4 will be played. Yes, on the board. And Pierce, G6. E6. Okay. Prime Magnus. So no big experiments. Ah, any predictions? Do, do you guys dare to... This one? I'm saying Gurel is not losing. That's oh. my take. All right, I'll take Magnus winning. No. Yeah, but you've covered the results, so I don't have to. Yes, yes. Have to. Okay, then I say draw. I say draw. Well, you said draw the last one, so I think that, that, that's the result that you could go with for today. Okay, I'm famous for drawing. No, I believe in draws. Yeah, it's simply, I believe. You may bet on not a draw. So I'm thinking, okay, you can do I don't it. know who's going to win, but I don't think this will be a draw. Sure. You can take that one. But your chances are bigger, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Automatically, you are professional. But okay, I'm loving what I'm seeing from... Okay, but Bishop E3, Bishop E2, Knight F3, I'm... I like more the Bishop E3, Bishop D3, Knight F3 setup. Why did the Bishop go to E2? That's the one really... And also, uh, well, if Black plays it via a normal Pierce move order, sometimes they go Bishop B5 to ask for C6, right? And then go Bishop E2. So I've seen it somewhere because otherwise black goes knight c6 e5. But that's with knight on d2. It's with knight on d2. Yeah, knight on d2. Right. Yes, here the knight is on c3. Yeah, of course, knight on c3. And you see this b5 e3, this is in Magnus's favor. So now I'm already feeling a bit confused. Yeah, I, I'm not really believing in this draw anymore that much. I'm feeling like, yeah, Gudal is allowing Magnus too easily to get a nice position. And if Magnus gets a nice position, then he plays fast. Well, Magnus. Magnus is going for e5 yeah. soon, right? Yeah, very smart play. But also he's waiting kind of because it's not exactly obvious how I should play. Well, I guess queen d2 and then you, you know, bite the bullet, go bishop d3. d5 played, wow. Five. d5 is something very strange. But okay, he's trying to target the b5 one, but there is a6, exactly. a6, and then he... It starts to look like a Sicilian now. Yeah, it's a Sicilian. Like an open Sicilian in a strange way. Okay, he even gets the knight to d4 with a tempo, the queen pulls back to c7. But it's a very healthy stuff for black, I believe. Black is better than no, no. So there is h3 played, so f3 yes. is very... Old. No, no. Yeah. Draw is very far away. Magnus is gonna win this game. That's it. It's just too nice for black and very difficult to play with white. This whole bishop e2 setup, yeah? Was very unfortunate. Magnus, Magnus is incredible. He senses his opponents, yeah? That it looks like, okay, he plays the pierce and it's just 12 move and he's already better with black and it's some kind of a dream Sicilian type of position. How do you do this all? Two, seven, right, we should be three, eight. Knight to c5, so he does want to provoke f3, of course. Mm -hmm. White played f3 to defend the pawn. Yeah, very sad. I think it's, it's just his amazing versatility, right? He can play all kinds of positions, so... I, yeah, I mean, that's why he's always able to steer the games in the directions yes. he wants. Well, and he also knows them, yeah, because, okay, one thing to know the structures, but to know also kind of move pen, move to understand the essence, why things are happening in the way they do. He just broke in the center, so he's going to have a very comfortable game now. Yeah, it's, it's minus one according to computer, and it's uh, absolutely, that's why we are also calling it the Dream Sicilian for black, because you are never supposed to get this in the dragon. Bishop on g7 is a monster. Bishop d5, black plays. Look at d8, look at c8. All the moves come naturally, automatically. Yeah, it's also such an easy position to play, right? Yeah. And with white, it's so difficult to find the move. Yeah, how do you escape? Look at d1. F d1. So the queen would be not bad on f2. Um, everything, everything, is, everything bad. is bad, yes. Look at d8. Like if you have the time, yeah, queen f2, well, maybe he wants bishop f1. Well, in the light time, black will also capture on d3, not allow this bishop, but also e5 is a move at some point because this knight has also nowhere to go. Rook c8, so max again, please. All the good moves. Yeah. There's 
knight a4 sometimes as well. Yeah, that's the problem, that if you play bishop f1, then all these knight a4s followed by e5 might win the b2 pawn, because the queen on the second rank will be overloaded. Bishop f1 on the board and e5. e5 yeah. That's the line that I was worried about. The b2 pawn is falling, because the knight has nowhere to go. And yeah, not much you can do. The moment the b2 pawn falls, like everything falls. Yes. What? Rook takes d5? Did Magnus overlook a little trick? Rook d5, Rook d5, Rook d5 knight b4. d4. That's the idea, but there is something on d1. Can we... Can we... One. Rook d1. Rook d1. Queen takes b2. And then he'll... Ah, uh, he'll just take, take, take queen one takes and take c3, three. and then take on a3 as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Magnus is relieved because, of course, he, he has blundered, but he understood that, okay, I was just playing the good moves. It should work. Yeah, that's the current position. c3, you have to trade the queens, yeah, that's still bad. Yeah, this is absolutely hopeless. 6 rook a3. Maybe we can take a look at Shog G versus Abdusatorov. Because this nine year old boy, I think, has a chance to make a draw against his high rate opponent. Maybe he's just a little bit worse in in the end game. Yeah, this should be drawable. The clock situation 26 versus 51. Yes, there we have him on board three. The young boy fighting against Abdusatorov and he has all the chances. I mean, White's on the worst side of it because of this d5 pawn being blocking his bishop, right? But at the same time, the bishop protects that pawn, yeah? Sometimes it's also yeah. Let's important. see, if he, get, if he gets a draw, it'll be amazing. Yes, but okay, since we have uh, Magnus on the camera, then I will also try to synchronize the, the story. And that position did not look so dramatic. It's, uh, it's important because of the result. E4, F5. F5. No. No, they don't blunt the young king. No, no. They never blunt, right? Ah, I thought that no, Magnus does not blunder, but <laughs> the young kids also don't blunder. But now he did. Now he did, because there is no check and I don't, yeah. Oh, it was just a lost position, yeah. So, congrats for Magnus showing his class, yeah. He's just incredible. We have seen Gurel in action, beating Hans Niemann in a fantastic game, and then Magnus just shows another masterclass. Oh, by the way, the board next to him, Nepo versus...